Hello, this is Kathleen from Chloe's Fiber Arts. If you're watching this video, you've purchased a copy of my pattern, the Olivia Convertible Cowl. In this video, I am going to show you the overlay crochet rounds, which will also include the first single crochet of the rounds, and uh, how to work between both rows uh, for these particular rounds, which this is going to be working in round five and round three for this tutorial. Make sure you switch to the 6.5 millimeter hook, and after your chain one, you will do a treble crochet to start off the round into the third stitch of round three. One, two, three. You will be going, you will be using both loops of that stitch, not just the unworked, uh, unworked loop. Once you've completed that stitch, you now uh, will need to skip a stitch like it states in the pattern for the first stitch of the overlay crochet rounds, the skipped stitch is the one that your chain one comes out of, so you will use the one after, after that one, which is directly behind the treble crochet, and you will uh, single crochet five into round five. Now you will start your very first treble crochet two together stitch, which creates the upside down V pattern, or the overlay crochet. You will use the same stitch that you use to complete your treble crochet of the beginning of the round, which uh, makes you twist your work a little bit, and that's okay. It's supposed to do that. Now you need, that's your first leg of the treble crochet completed. You need to go and complete the second one. To do that, you count over five stitches on round three. One, two, three, four, five, and go into the sixth stitch of that round, then complete out your stitch and um, creates the second leg of that stitch. Now as it states again, you do skip a single crochet, so you will go into this one here and a single crochet five afterwards. You will uh, repeat this pattern all the way around the cowl until you reach the end and you will have a completed uh, treble crochet together and then you will ha do a treble crochet to create the very last um, upside down V and you will join into the second stitch of this round not the first. If you have any questions please just uh, let me know Kathleen at Chloe's Fiber and thank you for watching.